And welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2, episode 14. There's a lot of candy pop buds over here. These over here are, as you can tell, um, butterflies. We want to throw a Pikmin at them, and they leave. That over there is a Mamuta, I think. We, they were in the last game, but we never actually um, experienced them. So what they do is they knock down, um, Pikmin and they turn them into flowers. You know what, this would be absolutely horrendous if that's not what they did and they actually killed the Pikmin. Because we have, like, almost 40 Pikmin we need to actually dig up now. But actually, when they slam them to the ground, that actually, as you can see, all turns into flowers. So they're harmless against um, all Pikmin except for flowers. Actually, I think I should have mentioned those um, purple... Um, um, bah, 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 the purple butterflies? Um, will actually um, drop sprays. The purple and red. One of them is a type we haven't actually encountered yet. Ooh, a giant punching fist. Oh, yeah, I know it's there. I even mentioned it, game. You're good. Processing. How strange. This atypical metal object came from that came from inside that bizarre being. It appears to be a giant metal hand. Perhaps it is an ancient work of art. Yes, it's it's like an action figure hand. I mean, you could use these to insta flower your Pikmin, but um, those are water dwarves. We can hit them. Even though, well, because water's never actually been an insta kill, has it? We can hit the damn thing. And you're gonna want to carry the corpse of your friend for some reason. No, nope, but it's carrying another one. Do, okay, I was about to say, do I have purples? Wow. That's one way to kill them all. Just kill them in the air before they have a chance to even run. Again, I don't think I really need whites. Cause are there? I don't even think there's any other forms of the fire gold blacks. Like I don't think we need purples though. You're white, right? Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna throw a bullman into that probably because it will turn the bullman into actual Pikmin. Root knuckles. This object seems to replicate a humanoid fist. Glove much like this once lay in my junk hold. And here it is, that very glove. Just found the missing rocket fist in my junk hold. So you had it this entire time. Step A, three times launch it, one, two, punch. So what he's saying is that... Get away from me. Get away from me. Is that... You'll see that he charges up and then he does a huge uh, fist attack. That basically increases the viability of a captain to do combat. I don't know why you'd be doing that, but... I think there are fiery blowblaxes in this dungeon. Yeah, that's all of them, and that's all the treasure. I don't think there's many actual Nirvana um, levels that actually have treasure in them. I think this might actually be the only one, although I am most likely completely wrong. Yeah, 
Yes, please. Okay, this is the floor. Oh, Pikmin? Oh, is it? No, I think there's actually a trap. Put our captain there, and put this captain here. Oh no, it's just that. Those. Is that? That? Or is it that they run towards you? So basically, this is what I was talking about, water areas. We want to use these guys to kill actually everything in here. Oh, Pullman. Not hit that. You can hit this water dumble, please. I don't actually care enough about um, destroying the fire. There's a lot of them in here. gotten one. I'm gonna hopefully not actually have any rocks be following me, although I can already tell that there is one. Over there. And with- oh, because it's stuck. Okay, so what you can do is you can have these guys kill themselves. They'll try and shake you off. That kills them. It's a bit more troublesome to get some of them to kill themselves. In the case in point, this guy. I think no matter what we do. Oh, maybe. Oh, never mind. And that's every single hostile enemy, as far as I can tell, gone. This is actually more so the major reason why I got um, blues is because nearly this entire area is um... crying of blues. And, and this is what I was talking about, that red Pikmin aren't actually that necessary. Ow. Because they can all destroy these geysers. Very close. Oh, shit. I actually never destroyed this thing, did I? Well, obviously not. We really need our blues to do everything, don't we? Hmm. Trap? No. I just remember Carl 101's playthrough of this, and I'm pretty sure, like, he got his entire Pikmin um, squad just, like, annihilated by one boulder. Got a Queen statue? Priceless statue. 80 Poco. Poco. Whatever. And then we've got the King statue. Yellow would like to drown, okay. Four, five, six, seven. Is that what we need? One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whatever. And we got this king statue here. Ada Poco. Poco, whatever the hell. Worth a statue. That's a bit mean. Is everything okay? Okay, it's just that decorated cannonball's huge body going um, through the water. Well, really, it's a little bit big. It's like probably the eh, size of like what is how big is Almer an inch? It's like maybe two, like maybe four inches long, maybe even five. I don't know. Okay, and that let us get this water dumple. And that's all our treasures. Now where is the hole actually? Oh, it's right there. I wonder why they put the hole right here. You know, at the end of today, since we're doing two dungeons at once, um, a lot of them with like special enemies and stuff. Um, and I think this day we've actually did the like whole um, um, past the bridge area of this almost. So we're probably gonna have an entire episode dedicated to reading that log. Hmm? Interesting. What is this for? Final floor. Not at all, though. Oh no, this is. I know what this is. So, orange bull. bull warps, by the way. I'm surprised no trap there. Um, they're basically light sweep sleepers. You cannot easily sneak up on them. But you might be wondering, hey, why are these guys such light sleep sleepers? This is why. This is our last type of trap, I'm pretty sure. And it's boulder traps. Where there's just like rock... Oh, shit. Iridescent and Glint Beetle. These guys are guaranteed to have one treasure in them. Um... Huh. It's not possible that I'm... No, I don't think we lost that treasure permanently. That'd be incredibly cruel. But we have to hit him from all the way over here. It's stunning all of them. But especially if you're looking at them via their shadows. Um. Well, like, if you're, yeah, if you're looking at four rock traps via the shadows that they produce. Um, considering those are huge bulwarks. Um, you're probably gonna not have a good time, I guess. Oh, I'm fairly scared. And that's why. Okay, that was so close. Ooh. I'm actually gonna walk. No, that that's actually a bad idea. Because, like I said, you can't actually. Well. How the hell did no one get hit by that rock trap? Q 
again. How many whites do I have? Yeah, we haven't lost a single one. Pretty sure this is the rarest type of trap. I expected like a rock to come from the ceiling. Uh, obviously, I mean like come from the ground. I'm very concerned about that glimp eel, though. Because glimp beetles, I know for a fact, are supposed to be, um, carrying treasure. Unless you need to dig them back up again. That might actually be the thing. Um... Boss alert. Oh. That's another bell. Are you actually digging something up? Or... No, I'm... They're definitely digging something up. No? Oh, it's a yo-yo. Oh, I'm so sick. Get back here. Okay. There's nothing there. I'm worried, so worried about that glint beetle. Tiller. So what the hell did that... Am I wrong? I must be wrong. Oh. There we go. Carry that, Louie. It must be that, um... The glint beetles are not required. Huh. Well, I mean, like, they must not have treasure in them. Or we are royally screwed. Maybe it's supposed to have that yo-yo in it? Although I find that doubtful. I mean, if there's no more items, there's no more items. I think that's everything. Let's go on deeper. This will be the last four floor of this episode. Is it the final floor, though? It is the final floor. Never mind. Is this still gonna be dark? No, it's not. Wait, it is still dark. You'll see these... Okay, this is probably the most quote-unquote disgusting part of this game. See, they're basically baby bull boards that don't even have legs yet. And they don't even leave corpses, they melt. But they're like, I think they're more effective than normal bull boards. Like, they like, eat it and then, um, there's a lot of them. You know why soon enough? I think you can see why soon enough. Because we've got an Empress Black, um, Bull Blacks birthing them. So, the best thing to do is annoy the hell out of this thing. You're not. There we go. And then just watch as the Empress Bull Blacks crushes her own children. Empress Bull Blacks is from now on. Will, uh, ooh, what are you doing? So basically the goal for this is to now they shouldn't be a threat because every single time they try and get to us, they should be crashed, cra crashed, 
crushed by their own mother. Actually, this is going to be a really long... Well, no, it's not. I'm going to have to remember to read next episode. Because I actually have to go right after this episode. Get back here, Pikmin. Sad. And disgusting, I guess. I guess this is the same thing like spiders, basically. How you always seem to have a spider boss in a game um, birthing children to kill you. And we got a shoe. Revert olfactory sensors overloading, approaching outer stink limits. This ancient must be emanating from that object. Guess who has to carry it? It's not me. Well, it's a pick one. Actually, you have to ask, what is this nectar, actually? Like... It's really weird now that I think about it. Because like mo like you get it from these baby corpses, so it's basically like their innards. Like I guess um you know how um eggs are filled with yolk and stuff like that because it's like high density nutrients or something like that for an embryonic um bird. Is that what we're to believe like their insides are basically like embry like um Nutri like nutrient filled in that, and then they gradually like use it up as they age or something like that. And then the eggs, which are honey appendage, which are the noted thing. Um, so what is with the grass and the rocks, especially the rocks dropping it? This object has pockets of air on its surface. It is perfect for the boots I'm making. How many things are you making? First you're stitching knapsacks, now you're making boots. Processing complete. Nano assemblage of the rush boots is concluded. These nullify wind resistance by circulating air beneath the soles. You move faster and you'll no longer be blown away by puffy blowhogs nasal blasts. So basically, um... Even, um, Flower Pikmin can no longer keep up with you. Except... White, you basically run at the same... No, White Pikmin are slight... I'm not... It's either you run at exactly the same pace as... We're done with this then, Jen, by the way. As a White Pikmin, or, um... Yeah. Whatever. Uh, I'm always doing that. Your walk at the same pace as a white Pikmin or slightly faster. Sixteen, or, yeah. Oh, sixteen Pikmin dead. It's not horrible. There's gonna be a lot of deaths. That, most of the deaths are gonna be this day. Because we had two dungeons. But... That's 70% of the debt recovered. We're almost there. Now, actually, since we can't really do much else today, that, oops, that's it for this day. Let's go to sunset and end this. I meant, yes, sunset and end this. And you can see we get the nice little trumpets because um, we got like 3,000 Pocos. I don't think we've left anyone to sunset yet. Oh, there's just a bull black sleeping in front of us. Only the most dangerous of species. Look at all those items. That's a lot of items. That's a huge amount of items. Oh, okay, there we are. 7, 3,356 today. How many did we lose? We lost uh, 40. We lost 51 Pikmin in total. 
Blackmail? Omar, you're my hero! You've, you've wasted half of our debt. Still, things have become a bit dangerous. So I'm going into hiding. Focus on working. Don't slack off. It's a shame we're going to miss out his whole hiding bit. Because we've got a lot of stuff to read. And we're almost done with the Valley of Repose. Heck, I'm half tempted to next time go to the Awakening Wood, but I know I'm probably not going to remember to do that. Or, usually I do. I haven't actually forgotten much in a long time. I'm just paranoid about forgetting stuff. But anyways, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we're basically only going to be reading. So if you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. See ya!